I'm not watching this. There are other people online who share their their days of binging even. Um, if you go on YouTube and you see people talk about their binging or if you go on TikTok, like what I eat in a day during, you know, a binge or watch me binge or like talking about my binging or whatever. Nine times out of ten, it is thinner people and they just get so much support. So it's like, why don't I get that same type of reaction? You know, I don't want pity. I don't want sympathy. I just want people to realize that regardless of the number on the scale, I'm struggling just like them. I've never understood why Amber changes up her content and suddenly pretends her entire demographic has also changed. She knows that everyone only watches her because of their fascination with her weight, as you can see in the following segment. I but um, I want to talk about like the fear of losing weight because my channel has been very much reflected around the fact that I am super morbidly obese. It's not that I have 200,000 subscribers because I'm on this like successful weight loss journey and people want to see me be like a success story. It's very apparent that my most viewed videos are ones where I'm showing my large body or ones where I am um, eating mukbangs, ones where I am discussing, oh my god, I've gained so much weight. My success videos don't get that type of views at all <laughs> in any sort of way. My happy videos, my videos where I'm in a good headspace, they do not reflect the same as when I am train wreck Lynn, um, troll Lynn, eating Lynn, or gaining Lynn, um, the views do not reflect the same at all. So it, there is a large fear of like, okay, so what will my channel be like when I do lose the weight? YouTube themselves always keep reminding all of their creators to make engaging thumbnails and titles the best practice. The greatest advice I can give Amber is to spend at least three hours on her thumbnail and title. I would also encourage her to start off each video with highlights from the video itself. She has to compile together the greatest, most breathtaking moments of the video and put it on display for us to see first. Before anything else, she needs to grab our attention somehow. We need to be engaged. We need to be anticipated. That's what's gonna bring in the views. So why doesn't Amber do this? Well, firstly, because it probably seems like a lot of work. And as we all know, she likes it simple. But because she likes it simple, there is no actual highlight from the video she can take and display it first. There's just the couch being there in all its glory, occupied by her. I get so many people telling me you're gonna lose all your viewers once you lose weight and stuff like that and that scares me because if that's true it's like okay well this is my job what am I gonna what am I gonna do then obviously I'm gonna have to get a new job but it's like I love this job so that's gonna suck and then it's like okay so that doesn't make much sense because I'm constantly screaming fat phobia and trying to stand up for myself and trying to stand up for fellow fatties who also experience fat phobic people in their comment section. And it's like, how can people say, oh my God, you're gonna lose viewership if you lose weight, but then also in the same breath say, you're not fat shamed. It's not adding up. If you are watching me because of how I look and the number on my scale, it's fat phobia. You are watching me in awe and you are being rude in the comments below and you're calling me a train wreck because of my weight. Honestly, I, I do have a fear of losing viewers because of success and that's really, really sad and I shouldn't feel that way. I shouldn't have this like heavy feeling on my chest of like oh my god so do i choose health or do i choose you know money because i need to put a roof over my head i need to put food in my fur baby stomachs i need to be able to take them to the vet i need to be able to pay for electricity i need to be able to buy toilet paper like so do i choose health or do i choose 
career. I don't know about you, but I personally wouldn't torture myself watching a 500 pounds person show their scratch art doodles, sit on the couch all day, and then complain about why the views are low, while simultaneously gaslighting people into believing they're fat phobic only because they find it boring and exhausting to click on a video titled, What Color Is My Favorite Watermelon? Knowing it's fucking green, I don't enjoy this, not one single tiny little bit. I only do it because of the money, because I have to. I don't like this content, it's painful to watch. You cannot tell me I'm fat phobic because I refuse to watch you do your nails or pet your cat. That's not fat phobia, that's boring. As long as your weight fascinates me and I find it interesting to see how a person your size operates. As long as you intentionally keep making those full body thumbnails, knowing absolutely certainly it brings in more viewers, I will keep watching. And the general public also will. That's how it is. I've said this before, but whenever 500 pounds people become common in the world, then I won't be interested in you particularly. What wasn't boring was the Kentucky Trap House gay care era, and the numbers show it. She has totally disassociated herself from her weight. She actually might have been thinking that people watch her because of the scratch art. I also find it interesting how she is too scared to directly confront comments as she gets them. She always needs a medium that provides some sort of buffer time under the guise of Instagram. She's frightened about being directly confronted for her shit because she won't be able to formulate some elaborate excuse or lie that doesn't contradict past shit she has said because she has lied so much. In her last live, she had to be pissed drunk because she didn't have the courage to face the community directly with a sober state of mind, hoping she has a health scare sometime soon, because I am so bored of her shit. You are so bored of her shit, and we have the right to be, and she absolutely has the right to continue being the way she is. I personally expect an apology from Amber for calling me, you, and everybody else fatphobic for our disinterest in her while she is sitting on the couch. In case you want to watch any more of my videos, they are on the screen right now. You can click them. Don't be shy.